with a death toll rising from that deadly attack in London. A single attacker using a car as his weapon, mowing down people on a bridge to the British Parliament. People running for their lives. You see it here, that iconic building put on lockdown. One of the victims ending up in the river below. The attacker crashing his car, then going after a police officer, stabbing him. Authorities finally stopping the attack with a bullet. The alleged terrorist did not survive. But four of his victims are also dead, including that police officer, and at least 40 people are injured. Tonight, the desperate search for clues and a motive. ABC's Alex Marquardt, reporting from London, takes us inside the attack. Chaos in the heart of London today. Panicked crowds in the packed streets outside the Palace of Westminster. Tonight, the attack being treated as a terrorist incident that instantly paralyzed Britain's parliament. People fleeing as gunshots ring out. Police shouting at pedestrians to run. Authorities quickly arrived at the scene, locking down parliament. This house is now suspended, but please wait here. The attack unfolding just before 3 p.m. on the busy Westminster Bridge, right before rush hour. You can see the car as it barrels across the bridge, highlighted there on the right. Then watch a woman near the middle of the bridge falls, landing in the water, killing at least two and injuring around 40 others. There was bodies, literally. Must have been about 10, 10, but 10 bodies. 10, yeah, 12 all bodies, shots, all in different, just lying in different places along the bridge. Moments later, that car crashing into this gate outside Parliament, just below Big Ben. The car smoking, its hood smashed, the driver's side door open as crowds begin to form. I see that one car smashed to the wall and just people started running all over. From above, on the famous London Eye, these tourists watching the carnage below. And you were up in the eye when all this happened? We were. What did you see? But we did see three different groups of uh, wounded people on the bridge. One of the things that struck us was how long the medics were spending with the uh, victims on the ground. Authorities say the suspect then exits the car to continue the deadly rampage. Inside Parliament's grounds, stabbing and killing a police officer who is standing guard. One witness watching from a window. We saw a thick-set man in black clothes. and had something in his hand. It looked like a stick. And we could see the man moving his arm in a way that suggested he was either stabbing or, or striking the policeman. Police fire, taking the suspect down. These images in the immediate aftermath show one officer seeming to point his gun at the alleged suspect what appears to be a knife under the officer's right foot. Police load the alleged suspect onto a stretcher and into an ambulance, the suspect later dying. Parliamentarians under armed guard, Prime Minister Theresa May rushed to safety. Outside, that bridge brought to a standstill. Bystanders rushing to a victim's aid. First responders performing triage as helicopters were dispatched to rescue the wounded. Tonight, a search is underway to make sure there were no other attackers as stories of heroism begin to emerge. One member of parliament, Tobias Elwood, his face bloodied, performing mouth to mouth, trying to save that police officer, 48-year-old Keith Palmer, who was stabbed and later died. And those images, such a grisly scene. Alex Marquardt joining us live outside of Parliament now. The British Prime Minister, Theresa May, just addressed her nation, saying they've just begun this investigation, but they believe the suspect acted alone? That's right, Tom. The authorities say the attacker did act alone. They believe they know the suspect's identity and say that he was likely inspired by Islamic extremist terrorism. A short time ago, Prime Minister Theresa May called this a sick and depraved terrorist attack, adding that Londoners will never give in to terror and that Parliament will be back in session right here tomorrow. Tom? Alex Marquardt is going to be a long night for you. Thanks so much.